Well, we're just waiting to untie. Anthony can talk for England. It could be lunchtime before we leave. I was happy to leave at 10 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and we're off. We are. It's Easter Saturday, it's the Easter weekend, and we just had one night at Reedley Marina. It was good to hook up to electric, get all our washing done, all our laundry. Um, yeah, fill the tank with water. We're already full of diesel from the other day. And this is a stretch of canal that we've never ever done. It That's, is. Yeah. So, um, we, we're set up quite late, haven't we? Yeah. Because uh, I've been chatting geeky stuff about batteries with the Neil the Marina. I must keep him indoors till we're ready to set off. I'm going to start the engine, untie the ropes, and then Anthony, are you ready? Otherwise, <laughs> we'd have been there till Easter <laughs> Sunday. We don't have to pay for another night. But we've got my brother and sister-in-law hopefully meeting us near Blackburn to help do the Blackburn flight. <laughs> got quite a long journey today, and we're hoping to get to Riley Green, fingers crossed. Whether that's possible in six hours, oh, five yeah, hours, yeah, definitely. I don't know. Oh. There was six, over six locks. Seven, eight, was it eight locks at Barrowford? Seven. Seven, yeah, but they're quite close together, aren't they? And we had help going down. And we did we have help, help going but, down, yeah. but we'll have help going down now, won't we? So we're fine. Yeah. Well, this is the journey that we should have done six months ago, and we couldn't because of the breach of yeah. Richton. So we think we just better get off in case um, anything happens again. <laughs> Although now the Wiccan flight closed at the minute, so. Only for another week, isn't it? It's yeah, so we're not nice. in a massive rush and we're going to have to hang about Riley Green, aren't we, probably? Or... Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe, or Hay. Yeah, Riley Green, if we can get to Hay, that'd be fantastic. Um, my dad's not been well. Uh, he's had a fall. Yeah, well, he's collapsed, didn't he? Yeah, and yeah, he's been suffering since his stroke. I think he's had another mild stroke since then. Um, so yeah, it'd be good that we're closer to our parents and also a bit closer to, well, for me getting to work, isn't it? It's all about you. Oh, no. You only go twice a month. Yeah. Yeah, but so much nicer to be half an hour <laughs> from my parents instead of an hour. Yeah. And same with yours, really. Well, actually, you can come out and see us as well, can't yeah. Because, at the, like, my mum's surrendered her licence now because my mum's 79 this year. Driver's licence. Yeah. yeah. Um, and your dad doesn't want to travel any great distance, does he? Because he doesn't feel confident no. much anymore. So, yeah. So hopefully, if we're like 15 minutes away, we could even go and pick them up, couldn't we? Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. <sighs> it's crazy. We've been stuck there at that point for three months. Then we went out towards Gargrave, but only got as far as Salterford. Turn round, and it's the first time, like we say, we've been this way. Yeah. And we've been itching to go this way for months. Although Yorkshire and the Lancashire border has just been brilliant hasn't it? Yeah I'm not quite sure that well I don't know because we've never done it but I can't can't imagine four minutes of views going to be the same. No. Um, it's very industrial isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very built up well, I think. You say that but once you get to like Riley Green it's really pretty up there. Yeah. Oh yeah Riley Green is yeah. really lovely. And Hay Park's really nice. Yeah. Right I'm going to turn the camera around so you can enjoy the view. Speak to you in a minute. <laughs> I thought there were some ducklings landing in the water, it's bread. Bloody hell, I don't feel all this cacking in, so... Yeah, it is. Mercury skills. <laughs> I think I need my eyes testing. <laughs> well, we've we'll just had some cheese and cracker, and... Surprisingly, Anthony doesn't like goat's cheese, do you? Oh, it's rancid. <laughs> it tastes, I've tried it once and it tastes like goat's smells. Not that I go sniffing goats, but... To be honest, I agree. I don't know what a goat smells like, but I can imagine what a goat oh. smells like. When you go to like a petting, say what, like a farm, and that's what goat smells like. So I did pick it up by mistake. I thought it said soft cheese and it's goat's cheese. I won't make that mistake again. Soft lad. <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> What's your favourite cheese? I want oh, I like. Is it? I don't know. Now is it Corset? Yes, that is correct. Garlic. Mm -hmm. It's soft cheese. I like all of the Wensleydale cheeses, which is appropriate because people say I sound like Wallace. Wallace. You do I'm Wallace and Gromit, especially when I say good lad. Nah, good lad. 
I thought you were doing that before when you were going like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> creature comforts character. I love I'm, anything with chilli in as well. I'm going to look like Wally so we keep eating all this cheese. Yes. <laughs> I'll get your knitted tank top. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, there's a teddy bear abandoned at the side oh. of the canal. Yeah. That's quite sad. Poor oh, teddy. <laughs> the sun's still quite low, isn't it? Well, this is different than I expected. Yeah. To be yeah, it's, uh, it's very industrial though, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Turn the camera around so you can see what's going on. Right. Well, you were just saying about the litter, weren't you, Anthony? And. What were you saying? Yeah, well, I'm just saying that just because an area isn't wealthy doesn't mean you can't have pride in your community. You know, we we both grew up on council estates, and the, the estate that I grew up on when I was younger was absolutely immaculate. Same everybody funny. looked after the gardens, everybody knew everybody. I just don't think there's any excuse for it was the a amount much, of litter yeah. along here. It was a much nicer place to live, wasn't it, when yeah. people did look after the gardens and the properties? I do feel like I'm turning into that, that person. I know. I don't know. We don't want to whinge, but it, it is shameful. England's one of the most beautiful countries in the world, and yet I'd say we've seen more litter in this country than any other country we've visited. Yeah, loads back on the tail up. If this is Old Rose Grove Bridge 125, we're near Hapton. in Thompson Park. Hi. Hi. Straight mile. Yeah, is yeah. it? Oh, is this a straight <laughs> mile? It is. It is. Yeah, I know. saying this is a straight mile as I was saying this is a straight mile and this whole embankment was artificially built to take the canal I should have just kept doing that every time yeah. to see <laughs> We moored up here, had an ice cream and a coffee and managed to remove some rubbish from the weed hatch. Alright. Yeah. Right. It's a bit shallow there. Is it? Well we moored there and then got stuck and couldn't get off. Oh. <laughs> What's here that? It's a bit shallow and I think he got stuck. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Soon find out.
Well, we just stopped off to check the weave hatch, and there was a bit of plastic wrapped around the prop. I can't believe we didn't film it. I know. <laughs> it's, uh, you could definitely tell that it went suddenly dead sluggish. Um, and I was saying to you, also, there's definitely something wrong. There's that much detritus in the canal. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. The, um, it's bound to happen. What does that mean? <laughs> I know what it is. Yeah, Anthony got us a coffee what and... What does it mean? Uh, rubbish. <laughs> Anthony got us a coffee and got me an ice cream, but you're being good. I am, I didn't have one. Yeah. And because it's Easter weekend, it was nice because they had a, a classical guitarist there. Yeah, so it's quite pleasant. But yeah, gorgeous weather and we can't believe how quiet it is on the canal. <sighs> Nice breeze. Good to be alive, isn't it? It is. Oh well, yeah, it's the alternative to rubbish, isn't it? The way you're going for this bridge, we're not going to make it. Oh, I'm getting a decent <laughs> angle on it. Oh, another aqueduct. I think this is the M65. Yeah, sounds like it. And then we're not far from the tunnel. Oh. Yeah. We're always on the toilet, aren't we? Yeah. Never knew the canal passed over it, did we? No. This is a very busy M65 that we travel over. Anthony travels over nearly every day to work. Yeah, I won't be once again. To the other side. And how I'd much rather be going this speed over here yeah. than the bloody speed they do on the motors. I know, we need to retire. I thought you had. Uh, it's only me goes out to work. Oh. Right, we're just approaching the tunnel. Ooh, what's the thing here? Is it time? Can you see? Uh, no idea. No smoking. Put your lights on. No diving. Oh, time to go through. Sorry? Ten minutes. Ten minutes at two miles an hour. And it just tells you the height. No, there's no mention of anything. Lights are on. Yeah. Well, you think it's not? No, it's fine. It's weird because I can't take sunglasses off until I get in there. The sun's that low. Now, isn't the one, this one that Mandela said it catches you out by surprise because there's a little bit of a... What? Dog leg or something. I've no idea. Ooh, it's cold. Should you put the jacket on? At this point it felt like there was something wrapped around the prop again. You can just tell because the tiller starts to shake and the boat goes really sluggish. You can sometimes get rid of whatever's wrapped around your prop by putting the throttle into a quick burst of reverse. We tried but with no luck this time. So we had to moor up, open up the weed hatch and remove the rubbish again. Here it after a few minutes, we could carry on with our journey. Yeah, 
and we were soon met with my brother Steve and his wife Heather. Who's this? Well that was slightly worrying, we were just sailing along past a few more boats in Tickover and an alarm went off that flashed for the battery. Anthony's checked the lithium battery and it is 100% charged. That has shut itself down because it was overcharging. Maybe that's it, we don't know. Uh, we shall carry on and see what happens. Fingers crossed. At this point I noticed there was a great big plank of timber right across the bow of the boat so we stopped to try and remove it. And we just got a piece of water. Then the wind got hold of us and pushed us right against the bank. We eventually got away from the bank, but I lost my sunglasses straight in the canal. Yeah. Clear your side, Steve. Ah. Loads are in my side. Yeah, you can outside at both. Loads are in my side yeah. as well. Okay. Wow. We've just spotted and heard our first Skylark of the year. That's amazing. Oh no, he is by the bridge Jack Steve. Look at this. The breach at Rishton happened in the early hours of the 11th of October 2021. Miles of canal were affected, the fisheries agency were called to rescue fish and emergency dams were installed to stop the escape of water. Many boaters were left stranded while they refilled the canal. 
a practical bit of preparing. Why? Well, that's it. So this is where the breach occurred at Richton, definitely. <laughs> and no wonder it took so long to repair really. It took six months to repair the breach at Richton and over 6,000 tonnes of rock were used in the repair. And the total cost for repairs was £1.7 million. Fine on this side. Fine. Miles? Yeah. Okay. So we've been under the M65, but now we're about to go over the M65. Was it? Yeah. Well, we've seen it all now. We've had a bikini. We've had we've had a bikini. We've had bags, but we've now got a full tire wrapped around the prop. What are the chances? I can't believe we've got this stuck in the prop. A full steel radial tyre. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please keep your comments coming. We love getting all of your comments. Find out next week if we manage to get that tyre off our propeller and continue our journey towards Chorley.